Hello there! I'm back this week with another plan with me. So this will be the plan with me for April. So let's get started by having a look at what um, I did last month. <clears throat> okay, so here's March. This is the whole month of March. Um, you saw me set this up. Then we've got this. And as you can see, I don't need to blur this out because I didn't use it at all but that's the way it goes sometimes this is still going strong for me I'm still enjoying this uh, habit tracking and the fasting tracking you might remember if you saw my previous video and I'll try and remember to put a card or something like that but uh, you might remember from my previous video that I did this to kind of see how easy it would be to do 16 to 8 ratio intermittent fasting and as you can see it's not going to work out very easily or very uh, good for me or very easy for me because one I stopped at the 20th um, but one of the things that I noticed was that um, quite often I wake up in the morning with some pain so um, I need to take some ibuprofen or paracetamol or something like that and um, obviously before I can do that I have to eat something so the result is that um, obviously yeah I I can't fast beyond the time that I get up in the morning so the alternative is to not eat um, quite late in the evening if you heard that sneeze in the background that was my dog because he's in the garden and the doors open um, so yeah this this isn't gonna work out for me at the moment not until the the um, medical issue is sorted maybe um obviously my habit tracker is going really well there's some things i'm doing really well with and some things not so much um but that's again that's the way it goes i've been doing a bullet journal for a long time and it's always kind of that way where some things come and go um but yeah you know i still love this this is still one of my favorite layouts i still love how it turns out at the end of the month regardless of how much I've done or how little I've done and how many habits I've managed to, to stick to because it always looks really pretty. So uh, so yeah. And then um, onwards, this is my content plan. So you didn't see me set this up because it's boring and also because um, you, I didn't want to give away any of the stuff that I had already um, planned. So you'll know about these things because this one will already be up by the time you see this video. Uh, this is the one that we're doing right now. And this is one that I do regularly, so that's no big deal. Um, you'll probably also see most of this, so it's no big deal. You, you're not gonna, I'm not giving away any spoilers. Um, so th there we go. Um, there is obviously a blank space here. Now, um, normally what I do, if I have a blank space, then I'll fill it with something at the end of the month, which I probably will do. And then we move on to weekly spreads. Now, some of these I've put on Instagram, um, but not all of them. Um, the theme this month was the kind of foxes. This particular week, um, I had, I think it was these two that I found first off, and I had this as a sticker from, I forget who. I will put the link in the description for you because it's somebody on Etsy in, in the UK as well, which is really super helpful and um, I had these two images from Pinterest and I was like okay I quite like this um, you know the kind of purple ties in with the, the um, washi tape and stuff as well um, so uh, hence why this is a kind of space fox sort of thing going on for this week and um, you'll also notice I wrote February instead of March here it's mistakes they happen uh, now that was the next week, so this is what, like the 11th to the 16th or something like that. Um, again, most of the images are from Pinterest. Um, I will, that creak, if you heard it, is my back door blowing open. Um, I will put a link to my Pinterest um, board. Um, I have a, a bullet journal sort of theme ideas um, Pinterest board and a lot of the images come from there so um, these as well I, I meant to mention I think there was one on the previous but so this guy and this guy these are stickers as well these came from another Etsy, Etsy shop <clears throat> in the UK so again I'll, I'll must remember to, to link to these for you 
Uh, okay, so then this is last week. We've got kind of a more natural sort of theme going on here with the um, photos and um, there's some of the Che Barton, Che Barton? Cheyenne, I think her name is pronounced. Or I'm not gonna pronounce her name. So this one is <laughs> a little bit more of a kind of um, natural theme, shall we say. Um, so there we go. And again, I'll put links to the these stickers as well. And then this is this week. This is the week that we're currently on. So this is today. Um, and you can see this is kind of more of an illustration sort of style um, for the foxes. The rattling is the blind blowing in the wind. Hooray. Anyway. So yeah, so that's where we're up to right now. That's the, the um, month of March. We're almost done. We've got just about a week left. Um, this video I think I will probably be putting up on maybe Saturday or something like that. In which case it will literally be just a couple of days. So let's crack on and do the rest of it. Just while I'm doing this little bit, one of the things that I did mean to say that I forgot to say before is that the theme that I've gone with for April is kind of, um, I, I'm calling it a Japanese art style. Um, it's probably more oriental or far east rather than specifically Japanese. But um, the reason why is because obviously this is the time of year when we get all those lovely or at least we in the UK, in the north of England, we got all the lovely cherry blossoms come out. Um, and obviously it's very pretty. And um, last year I did a couple of things, or in last year's bullet journal, I did a couple of things that were kind of themed around uh, cherry blossom and what have you. So I didn't want to do that again this year, but I kind of wanted to have a bit of a nod to it. So... Instead, I've gone with this sort of Japanese, Far East, Oriental sort of theme. And you'll kind of see, hopefully see that starting to take shape in a minute. So just this is a good point for me to just pause just for a moment in what I'm doing and talk a little bit about what's going on here. So the markers that I'm using obviously are the Tombow uh, dual tip brush pens. These are my favourite markers for doing anything in my bullet journal. They virtually never bleed. Um, they make a really nice job of art colouring and what have you even when you're quite heavy handed with them. However, I don't have a great range of colours because I don't have them all. So what I do have is I have these ones. These are Spectrum Aqua markers. So these are watercolour artists markers, uh, crafters markers, I suppose, really. And uh, they're from the Spectrum range. So Spectrum Dew, alcohol markers, uh, water-based markers, 
pencils and a bunch of other stuff. Um, now these are quite nice pens but they are very wet, the ink is very wet so um, what I find with them, I don't like to use them in my bullet journal because what you find is any kind of heavy handedness and they bleed, they want to bleed because they are quite wet as markers. Um, so you can kind of see the ghosting that you get in the Leuchtturm with um, both a Tombow, which was this one, this one's a Tombow and then these two, but you can see how this is trying to, it really wants to bleed through even sort of down here and what have you. Um, and that was being quite light-handed with them. So Spectrum Aquas are not a marker I would typically recommend for bullet journaling and certainly not with the Leuchtturm normally. However, it's what I've got, unfortunately. So I've just got one more layer to do down here, which is a black layer. Um, and then I want to try and do some blending between these two layers here. But in all honesty, I, I'm, I'm going to struggle to do much with that because of the the markers that I've got, but we'll have a go. Okay, fun times. What I've realised is that having done all of this work down here, I actually haven't written April anywhere on this page, because, yeah. You know, that's the thing that we apparently do sometimes. Also, the bleeding is really, really bad down here. But never mind. Um, there are ways to deal with this. There are ways to, to solve it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry out completely and then I'm going to come back in with a white marker. So you're, you should see that at the end where I've done some work with the white marker um, to kind of come in with this. So let's carry on. This pen, by the way, that I used earlier and that I'll be using now is the Tombow Fudenosuke, Fudenosuke, I've heard it pronounced a couple of different ways. It's basically, it's a fine tip brush pen, so um, I don't know if you can kind of see that. Yeah, you probably can. Um, this is a brush pen, but it's a fine tip, so it's quite good for smaller writing and um, also for drawing. And I want to try, I'm hoping to try and get kind of like a, um, a sort of brush effect line or a, a smooth line um, with this bit, so we'll try. Okay, so there you go. So with this one is these three Tombow colours and the red, which I have got to hand. I've put it down somewhere and dropped it. Um, so it's these three colours, and obviously you know that you guys know that I put the colours in the description below so that you can um, recreate or do something similar. 
but it's it's those three blues and um what i've done is i've used the three tones to try and create depth and you can kind of see it on the the camera but i've kept it quite light down here because obviously i will have to mark in my habits and what have you in fact i'm gonna have to write my habits all up here anyway so um yeah we'll see how that turns out i might have to write some of them in in, in white marker um but this is after i'll try and find um a graphic of it to put sort of um picture in picture or something down here um but um uh i um it's after one of the this kind of famous japanese paintings that i've styled it after um, so yeah, so this will be habits and this will be meals. Uh, so I'll finish that off and tape it in a sec. And then this is my last monthly spread. Little spread for the month. Okay, so we're all done. That's the, the last one for the month. And then I'll be dailies after that. So I'm just gonna go and tidy some things up and uh, tape the edges. So I've gone for this pale gray just because it kind of stands out against the other colors that I've got going on. So uh, I'll tape the edges and then I will show you the finished product. <laughs> 